What's up, YouTube? For tonight, we have a full Ash original team. Now, leave your theme team suggestions in the comment section below. Make sure you do that. Make sure you check out the playlist and the pace bin as well, uh, so we're not posting the same uh, theme team suggestions over and over again. Okay. Um, yes, usually the highest summer comment will be the winner as well. Uh, but if you've got a really cool idea you think um, you know, would be interesting, make sure you leave it there too. There is always uh, Mystery Monday, which uh, definitely always falls on Mystery Monday. Let's get to this one anyway. This was uh, such a strong team. I got this uh, battle on my first go. Not really, it took ages to do because it was uh, very, very uh, difficult and some of the Pokemon I had to use were rather bad. So I had an NU battle uh, with this team, which was nice uh, you know, from all the OU battles that I had with it. Let's get to this one anyway. So we have Persian as a lead here. I'm expecting a fake out uh, more than a taunt, I guess. It's on Pikachu, that'd be some nice damage on him. So I've got my Bulbasaur here. This is max health, max defense with Everlight. It's uh, reasonably tanky in defense. Uh, here it's taking out that Persian nicely. I, I get credited there. Uh, well, that hasn't happened before or anything. So I'm going to go for the Toxic here. That was my best bet. I was going to try and Toxic stall this uh, this Persian out. There was not much set I could really do for the Bulbasaur. It was just yeah. On, on the team, the roll on its team was my defensive war. I couldn't really uh, do anything else with it. So I live there, hype on three health and get the synthesis off. I'm going to heal myself up, which is great because that's uh, now poisoned and it. It just can't take me out. Even with a crit, it can't take me out at the moment. So that's good. I'm expecting the Persian to probably swap here because it can, really can't do anything. Or maybe use Taunt. Uh, it's going to go for a U-turn here. That's fine. I went I went for another Synesis to heal myself up. And uh, I'm expecting like a Fire-type Pokemon here uh, being the Heat Ball. Now, I can't swap... Uh, anything much into this heat ball except my squirtle that was my idea at least however heat ball is a tricky pokemon because it's kind of like uh, what's another good pokemon to it's kind of like an electros in a way where they can go physical and special and it's got a really vast move pool so i just thought i'd go into squirtle anyway that was my best bet so i dodge a fire blast which is you know that which was good because that would have just annihilated me that does a lot of damage actually and i get burned i'm like damn so I've got Rest and Sleep Talk on this set, and we all know it's definitely going to get Skull. I go for a Rest this turn uh, just to see what it's going to use. Goes for the Fire Blast again, which was interesting. So I thought, you're doing a little bit too much damage there just for a normal... Uh, I don't know what item it is. I was thinking maybe it might be Assault Vest or something. But I'm thinking at this point in time, it was Choice Specs, because I went for it twice in a row, and it did a little bit too, money, uh, too much damage. Uh, Squirtle's pretty bulky in special defense too. Uh, you know, it's 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 actually very bulky for a little cut Pokemon. So here I'm going to go for uh, the, the Sleep Talk, and Dix was a really good swapping for me because it's got dry skin. I'm, I'm guessing this one has dry skin. <laughs> it doesn't even matter anyway because I got rest anyway. So I'm going to have to swap out my Squirtle. I'm going to go to Pidgeotto here and go for just a, a really risky play here. Jinx goes for the nasty plot. That's cool. I'm actually running a Choice Scarf Pidgeotto here at the moment, so I know I'm going to outspeed here. And I'm gonna go for the U-turn. It wasn't sure how much damage this would do. I'm just trying to get uh, you know as much as I can. It barely misses a kill. I'm like, damn, I really could have used a crit there. That would have been awesome. But I was still very happy with that result. Gonna swap back into Squirtle here just to see what I can do. Uh, even an icy wind should be able to take this thing out. It goes for the ice beam there on my Squirtle there. It does lots of damage considering uh, that nasty bot. And it's got life orbs. I'm like, yes! I got the first kill of this battle. I was I was I was happy with that one. I was very happy. So uh Squirtle's uh just hanging around on half health. Heat more comes out now. I'm a bit skeptical here to leave this in, so I do a very risky play. Go into my bulb sword. This is gonna try, I'm gonna try and confirm whether this thing is choice specs or not. It goes for the Giga Drake here like I thought it would. So I, I know Heat more sets uh, its special moves and stuff uh, like inside out. Now it swaps, there's a, like the only reason a Heat more would ever swap out on a Bulbasaur was if it was locked into a grass move and there you go. So uh, that confirmed it. Now I'm gonna go for the Toxic here on the Mantine. Uh, I don't really want to stay into this matchup at all because I know Mantine does have like Ice Beam, Air Slash, uh, which is Stab, and that's going to be very scary. Even if it doesn't have much like EVs in uh, Special Attack or anything, I'm not going to like that one little bit. So back into Squirtle again. I'm going to try and get a Rest off so I can get my health back. Uh, it's going to go for Air Slash. That's a good thing I swapped that out. Now, I wasn't too sure whether it was running Max Special Attack because it should have it should have done a bit more than that for Stab. So I think it's more of a bulky Mantine uh, there, so I, I'm going to be asleep this turn. Um, I was hoping that I could get maybe an Icy Wind, just get a little bit of damage off or something. Icy Wind's just for uh, you know, bulky sw uh, sweepers and stuff. So it's got Water Absorb, uh, <laughs> Water Absorb my Scald, so uh, best luck 20, 2016. So I've got Rest, Rest and Water Absorb Scald. So it, it, you know, you don't get a better lineup than that for luck. So uh, Mantime's going to go for uh, Air Slash again, and I get credited. This Squirtle just got 
fucked over. Like seriously, rest, rest, s that, s s s s crit. So it's it's dead. It, it the poor thing. But it did take out. It was very handy for that jinx. Like I, I had nothing to swap into that ice beam from before. Okay, into uh, into Pikachu anyway. So I'm gonna go for Volt Switch here. Just see what's uh, gonna come in. So that obviously that Sanchez comes out there. Um, I, it was an obvious play, but I, I would just want to see. I was just fe you know feeling my opponent out at the moment. I know that sounds wrong, but um, I was just you know wanted to see what their swaps were and uh, stuff like that. Anyway, I went to Bulbasaur because I didn't have much else to swap into because. Uh, like I was, I didn't have my Squirtle anymore. Uh, this is my defensive Bulbasaur, as I mentioned. But uh, I'm not going to take repeated Earthquakes from Sandslash. I think that Sandslash is most. I think it could be adamant because that did like a lot of damage to me. I'm not saying Bulbasaur's got the greatest defense with Everlight in the world, but uh, it should have taken them a little bit better if it was a uh, like a bulky Sandslash. Okay, so I swap in Charmander because that's the best swapping for Sandslash ever. In, um, you've ever seen. So I got fo uh, Focus Sash and Counter. Uh, goodbye, Sand Slash. I bet you never saw that one coming. This is actually a Dragon Dance Charmander, and I whacked Counter on there with Focus Sash just for a bit of fun, and it worked in this battle, so I was very happy with that. Uh, most of the time, it got messed up with spikes, Stealth Rock, you name it. Okay, uh, Persians are going to come in. I never saw that, uh, you know, that fake out coming. It was just so unobvious. Had to swap out my... Um, I didn't want to swap in any Pokemon to that because that would have done a lot of damage to Pikachu, to Pidgeotto. I, I couldn't risk that. So Charmander pretty much played his role there getting rid of the Sand Slash. Okay, so into my Pidgeotto again, which is... You know, I revealed that with Scarfed already. Now, uh, Quagulite is going to come in and I do so much damage to this. It is amazing. Look at that damage. Max. That's Max Happiness Return. Holy shit, that did like nothing. So Quagsire is clearly like probably max health, max defense or something like that. I have to swap out there because nothing I can do. I'm locked into return. It, you know, that, that amazing damage. So into Butterfree here, hoping maybe uh, I could get a sleep uh, sleep powder up or try and scare it off with a, maybe a Giga Drain or they may, may think I've got Giga Drain. I don't have that at all. Now, uh, Quagsire goes for the curse there. Gets uh, you know, all his health back with the left eve. That's cool. Now I'm thinking... What should I do here? Should I go for a Sleep Powder or should I start going for a Silver Wind? Now, I'm running Silver Wind over Quiver Dance because I want to I want to try something different. I mean, you know, every Butterfree pretty much has the Quiver Dance set. I just wanted to try something different for a bit of fun. That's all. Um, definitely, uh, it's definitely all luck based and Quiver Dance is 110% uh, better. But I just wanted to try it anyway. So, uh, Mantine's going to come in and use Ice Beam against me. And what do you know? I get fucking Freeze Hurxed again. And Butterfree is floating in there, but its wings actually aren't flapping. So, that that's Pokemon logic there for you. Yeah, I'm somehow still a. That's Pokemon logic there for you. I actually thought out. So, I get this. I thought out on the first turn, right? But I don't have any moves to hit this Mantine with. That's always the way. Like, most of the time, I have a move that's super effective. And be like, oh, you're going to get free sacks 50 turns. That sort of thing. Anyway, so Butterfree goes down. Um, I kind of saw that one coming too because it just didn't have much to hit Mantine with. Uh, they had actually had Silver Wind hit. Hidden Power Ground, I think, uh, for Steel Types. Okay, into Pikachu. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here and finish this guy off. I was half expecting Quagsire to come in anyway, but uh, I just went for it anyway because I know I could outspeed the next turn and go for uh, a different move. Okay, so I've got my Pidgeotto left and I've got my uh, Pikachu left. So I've got the Choice Scarf Pikachu. I knew Persian would come out because you know it's going to want to try and make use of that Fake Out. Uh, that hits me really, really, really hard. So it's a balance free hit KO uh, there. So it's a two with a crit. I'm hoping I don't get critted. That would really, really suck. So here I'm thinking, you know, what should I do here? I'm going to go for a really risky play because I'm at a disadvantage at the moment. So there's no way I'm going to be able to get any more of these Pokemon down if I don't change up my game or throw, give them a curveball. So I went into Pikachu, did the swap, and they swapped into Quagsar. I knew that shit was coming because we're going to try and bulk it out again. I go for the Grass Knot here because I, I just I wanted to draw that out. It lives on like... That's not even one health. Fuck. Anyway, it goes for <laughs> it goes for Earthquake and takes me out. So I'm like, oh man, I, th I think I got minimum damage there on the Grass Knot. I think I did. Uh, someone do up a calc of uh, max health uh, and max special defense quags. I, I think it was that that would that would be their set. I imagine because it had curse. Um, anyways, I, I I I'm fairly sure I got min damage. Anyway, so I'm going to finish off with uh, the brave bird from Pidgeotto, um, hoping that it actually kills, which it does, which is nice. That's quags. I finally down there. I'm, I'm happy about that one. So we've got uh, the heat more. And we've got the Persian left. So I, I kind of knew Persian would come out because, you know, it's going to try and use that fake out again uh, to get rid of me. Going for the fake out now. I just leave with 12. Nicely done, uh, Pugiotto. So either someone's going to have to take a Brave Bird to the face. I don't care what Pokemon it is. 
So Persian stays in, and it's going to take a Bray Bird to the face. Even with, you know, very average attack, this is going to be able to take Persian out. It's a stab as well, and Persian doesn't exactly have, like, you know... Uh, Cresselia defenses or anything like that. So I'm going to go down to recall. It was a it was a zero one. I was really happy with that result. That was an awesome fun battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Had some hacks in there, but it, it was cool. It, it's 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 nothing unusual. Peace out.